So, uh, millions of adverts later. That's the first round. Now should all be finished. Uh, goal number two is an endurance. Got to overtake 15 cars, but I would imagine a target. If you don't overtake 15, you're not going to do it anyway. So, upgrades costume-wise. First lot, we're all about 40,000 racing dollars, roughly. Uh, I'm expecting this to be gold on most, if not all of them. Right, so we have got 55. Uh, time here is 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So obviously I need to have these finished for stage 2, which for me is 11 hours time, roughly. So I'm going to have to... Um, obviously it's a bit more expensive now. Uh, I'll probably watch one advert on each one, just to get that under the 12 hours so it's ready for uh, stage 2. I'll obviously uh, watch a couple of adverts in a minute. I'll obviously cut that out. But just so you can see the, um, <clears throat> the prices of them. Alright, so that one is good. That one I don't need to watch adverts. Racing dollars. Always like racing dollars. Uh, Golden, that's going to be racing dollars after. 100,000. I had 1300 and something gold before I started. So these look like they're roughly about 50 gold for some of them. And 100,000 for uh, number three. I was going to have a little add up in a minute. How many I've got? Right, so the ones with 12 hours were the ones where I've done a gold and then done racing dollars after. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So five of them were gold then. Of seven. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So five of the seven were gold, roughly 50 gold each. So you're looking at, well, actually, I was on 1300. I spent a couple of hundred gold there, and I maybe two fifty somewhere around there. Uh, I'm going to try and limit it at that. Obviously, the most expensive one after this, with the engine, I've done one, two. That's three. So there's still a few more engines to go. I might have a little look actually, because I obviously can't get some information from other people. Uh, the upgrade costing wise of the engine after this number three, because there's another four. So it might well be there might be say. 125 whatever for number four and it's possible the last few could be racing dollars if that's the case and i'll obviously uh, put that gold on but if it's not i want to try and limit the engine try and do it as it is now so it's not too expensive uh, so i'm going to cut this little bit out and just watch a couple of adverts for these 12 hours right so that's all them down to eight hours because that's all I need uh, as long as it's less than nine that'll do because it'll be ready for stage two when that opens right so endurance 15 opponents do you have to get it just says overtake 15 opponents it doesn't say anything about how long does it bit more uh, race time obviously around the track here so I've been in chase view and I've been in cockpit not been in hood view as yet that looks very 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 condensed doesn't it obviously you've never been to Hong Kong so I've got no idea if that's a good replication of it or not I was looking at the I was looking at the red sky up there. I, was, I had no idea that car was coming. I just watched one of them, um, them. You know, you get the uh, driving fails and stuff on YouTube. I was looking at the ones in the snow, and people do people do get in a bit of a mess in snow, don't they? But the thing is, they're always like Russian ones, obviously, because they've got some terrible, terrible freezing cold weather so that's why they 
that's why they get featured. So everyone thinks Russians are just rubbish drivers. But when you think about it, here in Britain, we don't get a lot of snow, but when we do get it, people crash all over the place. So it's not, I think Russia get a bit of a raw deal with people saying they can't drive, it's just, the snow, people are just absolutely useless with it. It's nice to go on a different track, certainly it's not, it's so tight round here though. So, so tight. But I don't think it will take long to get used to the track to be honest. At the moment lots of these corners are coming up where I don't know they're coming up. But I must say, so far, oh, I like it. I know Ivan lives in Hong Kong and a few others obviously do as well. So they're going to give, obviously have a look on uh, comments from Ivan. Because he's going to, and obviously the other people that live in Hong Kong as well. They will give you some good insight whether it's actually a, a good replication of it or not. Obviously, if it was in London, if they'd done a London street circuit, then I do know London pretty well. I'd have a, you know, I'd be able to give a good opinion on whether it is a good representation or not. Because here, I would have no idea. I know the Melbourne one is because I've looked at that on Street View, and that's a really good replication of what it really is like. Uh, I haven't got a lot of time left, I'll need another four, three cars yet. I think the um, Australian V8 supercars would be good round here. Seems to be a very good, that sort of thing they do all the time anyway. Oh, I need another two cars left yet. I'll have to try and chuck it past him and I haven't done it. Oh, well, so I haven't done that because oh, I'm two cars short. So that's obviously quite difficult then. For me anyway. 6.8 distance wise. What's the fame worth? Not a lot. Right, so I did get first, so really what I should have done. How far off did I miss out on there? Right, so I only just beat first anyway. So I have to retry that. How much into the red is it? Oh, didn't take out hardly anything. Not bad, gives me more time. So is that a difficult target? I've got no idea. It was obviously for me because I just failed it. But so I've only had two go no, actually the first. So we've had two goals so far. The first one I wasn't really worried about failing it, and I did anyway. And that one I failed as well. And I may well make the opposition a bit easier. Who knows? Perhaps we better start looking where the track goes a little bit more. Because like when these things, when they're all new, you just don't know the... You don't know the braking points or... That little bit there seems to get me quite a lot and I think there's a couple of those. I think this is also another case of... Um, get out of the way which is what I was going to say actually when you get a new update comes out 
the robot cars seem to block you a lot more when the update first comes out for some reason. In the past they've been really aggressive and I did say I was going to take that out of it but obviously they're programmed to um, you know, block your path as much as possible. Uh, I, I like this, I think this is an enjoyable track to go round. With a little bit more familiarity it'll be obviously that much better. And I should obviously have um, used the auto engineer and I've got to break too late again. I should have used the auto engineer here. Have a little see if they're easy to uh, hit or not. Now I'm guessing once that hits 15, but I haven't done anywhere near as many kilometres as I did last time yet. It was 6.8 last time, nowhere near that. And I was two cars short, so they. Have they made the opposition easier, or have I gone round it better? I fancy they might have made the opposition easier. Well, I've still got plenty of time in hand. Not bad, that's cool. I actually remember the corner was here that time. But not that one. I don't really want to overtake him yet. Oh, messed up. Oh, you can carry on. I thought it might finish it there. So what well, that is an awful lot of buildings that they've got to put into the game here, isn't it? There's an awful lot of buildings. Well, if they can do this, I think they can do Monaco. It might be one of them where other games have got the rights to Monaco and they just won't let them do Monaco, perhaps. That would be superb. I mean, it's quite well laid. I don't like that big wheel thing. That seems to be just chucked in all, all circuits these days. But in general, I think that's pretty nice, that track. Pretty nice. Short and twisty. It reminds me a little bit somehow of the um, Pulse Test track, but with some, you know, character and definition, whereas the Pulse Test track hasn't got any of that. So far, so good. Pretty good, um, pretty good update, I think, so far. Uh, I'm going to have to service that now, and then uh, for stage three, and I. Oh, no, I'm not. You lucky, lucky, lucky boy. Cocked it right up, and you're still going. 